Now, in this video of WCF, we'll start hosting the WCF service as the Windows services. So, let's see the practical process of doing the deploy deployment of your WCF service as the Windows service. Now, let's see how to host this particular WCF service as the Windows services. So, I'll come to solution, we'll add a new project here. And from here, I'll come to Windows, Classic Desktop, and here I will get something called the Windows Service. So here is the Windows Service, so let's name it Windows, or I should say WCF Windows Service. Say OK. And right here, what you will have to do, you can come click here to see the code of that. Alright, so here I'll have to do a simple code for that. First of all, I will include using system dot service model. Alright, I need to add the reference first. So I'll come here, right click, add reference. So first reference which I will add here is for the system dot service model. Right here. And we'll browse for the sample WCF service right here. Alright, so I'll add both the references here, sample WCF service and system dot service model. Now, let's come to the code here and we'll write using system dot service model and using sample WCF service. Alright, so both the references has been added here. Now what I'll do, I'll come to the on start for this I will create the instance of service host here I'll initialize that new service host and along with the type like type of user that is the class available in the service all right and I'll start that I should say open I'm sorry all right and when on stop Host dot close. All right, I haven't passed the binding informations. For that, I'll have to come to the uh, app dot config here. Right here, you can see app dot config. All right, and inside the configuration, I'll put some service model tags, and inside that, I'll do the configuration. So here, inside the configuration, I will put all the configurations which we have seen earlier inside system dot service model. All right, so here you can see I have put a couple of uh, base addresses like for net.tcp and HTTP and currently I have gone through the net.tcp. So since here I'm working on the Windows service, I'll continue with this particular one. Now, if you want, you can just rename this service.cs file, service1.cs file like uh, sample wcf service.cs now you can you will say yes so that all the references will be updated all right now let's double click over this service.cs here i will right click and will say add installer so as soon as i will do that in the solution explorer you can see the project installer has been added and now inside this what you can do first i'll come to the service installer one i'll right click over this come to properties here I will give a display name just put a logical name like I'll put tutorials service all right so that when we will go to service.msc I can get the logical name out there similarly I'll put the same value in the service name all right if you want you can put any description and service type start type means when you want your service to be started I want it automatic means as soon as your system will be started it will start this particular service at the background now I'll come to service process installer will come to the properties and here I'll have to put, put an account alright so that it will depend like on which particular user it's going to get started like for the current user or for any uh, user in the local system so I'll go for the local system let's save this let's build build this solution and you can see everything is going good 
Now the only thing which is remaining is to install this service in your system. So for that, I'll come to the Visual Studio command prompt. Here you can see developer command prompt for VS 2050. I'll run it as an administrator. And now I will change the path to the current location. All right. Like for that, I'll say CD slash and then CD space. I have copied the path already. So I'll just paste that. This is your all the files which are locating out there. All right. So inside that you will get bin again debug and inside this you will get the name of the files. All right. So that you you like you are getting WCF Windows Service dot exe. This is the service which I want to run as soon as your system gets started. And for that, I have the utility called install util hyphen i means install. And this is the name of your service. So let me press enter, and you can see the transacted install has completed. Similarly, you can put hyphen u in order to uninstall that utility. So let's come to the services.msc. So here you can see the tutorial service is located and it is not yet started because we have to restart our system. But along with that, you can see all the properties which you have set like the name description out here, which we haven't set. So it is blank status. It's not running right now. Startup type is automatic and local system. When you will restart, obviously your system, this service will be started automatically. If in case you want to uninstall this service, you can come here and in the same command, you will just pass hyphen u to uninstall this service from the system. All right. So let's come here again and refresh it. This tutorial service is gone. So every time when you will have to install it, you will press, you will pass hyphen i option to install it. All right. So let's refresh it again. And here is your service. So this is how you can deploy your service of WCF service as a Windows service.